Hello, everybody. This is the Empress Speaks. I'm back to redo this video on Wendy Williams, which was amazing, but I had something going on with my audio, and it was my fault. User error. Didn't have my speaker connected, um, so I'm just going to use the one that's on the laptop here. So I hope you can hear me. I hope everybody's doing well. I want to find out a bit more about Wendy Williams. She's been kind of quiet. Kelvin has definitely um, been hit with a lot of karma. And uh, as some of perhaps even Sharina, I don't know. So that's why I'm pulling tarot. And this is for entertainment purposes only. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like the vibe. Also consider joining uh, at our different membership levels starting at 199. We do have a membership level, it's a little bit higher, but you get a free personal reading. If you would like to schedule a personal, I do have availability and they are now open starting next week, um, August the 7th. And I will put the link to Calendly where you can book your 30 minute reading up to two questions. And it's all live and personal. I do not do recorded readings, okay? All right, spirit guide and ancestors, please protect us. Um, so no evil, dark magic or spell work comes our way. Transmute anything negative sent our way to something positive. We turn it back to the center. We know that love is a higher vibrational frequency, and we want to always vibrate on the frequency of love. Oh, it's been a long day. I got to take these braids down. I'm not looking forward to it. All right, Wendy Williams, what do we have here? Let's see if the same thing comes out in this reading. It's a very poignant reading before. Tell us what we need to know about Miss Wendy. What is, she up, what is she up to? What's going on with Wendy? Is she coming back? Um, how is this going to play out? Okay, so we've got <laughs> the two of swords that came out in the reverse. In the previous reading, it came out upright. So um, there's some type of misrepresentation, uh, disloyalty in her camp, okay? And um, we've got the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So a lot of disloyalty, a lot, a lot of lack of clarity, some some fast talking, flim flamming type of energy I'm getting here. When I say flim flam, just kind of like fraudulent energy here in her reading. Someone would potentially air in their chart. So um, some bad choices were made, some misrepresentation, some disloyalty, and that may have been someone that is a third party to her or external to her, perhaps Kevin Hunter, that might be his energy here, disloyal. Of course, we know that he was. Okay. Let's see. We've got this Wheel of Fortune, and I do believe that it may have been in the reverse before it flipped on the floor. So um, some bad choices, chaos, some debt, some 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 karma being returned to send. And I do feel that we're picking up on Kelvin's energy here. Uh, he is one that is experiencing karmic debt. Um, We've got the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck, a wounded warrior that could very well be Wendy. She's standing strong and unshakable force despite everything that she's gone through with her husband stepping out on her, cheating on her for years and having a child with his karmic. So or with having a child with his lover. So, yeah, so he's experiencing some karma. Uh, it's been all in the news, so that's not new. Uh, this is his karma. This is what he brought on himself. Okay, <laughs> we got the Ace of Swords that came out here in the reverse. So some self-destruction and disaster headed her way. His way, judgment has been called on this marriage, which we already know there was a divorce, but this is spiritual judgment on him for how he treated, misused, and abused this woman. Okay. Some sense of atonement. Um, this is a reckoning. This is from the Most High here. This is from the Divine. So, yeah, he is definitely in a downward spiral type of energy. Give me more on this. Let's see how Wendy's feeling, Spirit. Let me know more about Wendy. The star in reverse here. Hope, faith, and balance. Um is has been unfulfilled there is no hope faith and balance someone is in despair 
uh, Spirit, let me know if this is Wendy or if this is still Kevin's energy. I'm still picking up on Kevin's energy in this reading. Earlier, it was Wendy's. Thank you, Spirit. This Three of Swords, yeah, this is, Wendy is in despair right now, uh, very pessimistic, very unfulfilled. She's still heartbroken. She's still in a dark night of the soul. She's still grieving the loss of the separation and the ending of this marriage. We've got the Ten of Cups in reverse. No happily ever after. Something is dissipating and disun yeah, there's a disunity. Um, she's very frustrated emotionally. She feels like giving up. You know, she is in a very dark dark night of the soul, very de spiritually depressed, mentally depressed, psychologically depressed. Can you give me more on what Wendy's planning to do, Spirit? More on what Wendy's planning to do. In the last reading, it was very hopeful and optimistic. It shows some collaboration. Got the Emperor in reverse. This is uh, most likely Kelvin Hunter's energy, failure to lead. This is a father that's not been a great father, a business person that's not been a good business person, overbearing, not good with money, uh, very much embodying the energy of Kelvin in this reading. This is strong Kelvin. This is his energy that I'm picking up on. Um. Uh, yeah, Kelvin is very much in this reading. Um, I asked to find out about Wendy and he, his energy I'm picking up on here. Okay, let me find out more about Miss Wendy. What is she thinking? Okay, so we've got the Page of Pentacles here. So he's been blocked by greed. His ideas, everything that he tries is never going. And we've got a Page of Pentacles in reverse. Anything he tries to do is not going to come to fruition. And he is just grasping at straws. Um, and so because of his greed and irresponsibility, nothing is really going to be birthed. He's not going to, his ideas and stuff there will not be brought to life. Okay, he's trying to manifest something, hmm. uh, probably a new idea, a new scheme to win some money or to get Charina back. I don't know if they're still together. He's trying to, man what is he trying to manifest, Spirit? I got too many cards, so I'm just going to take this top one, which is the chariot in reverse. Whatever he's trying to manifest is going to be unsuccessful so it's it's not going to get off the ground it's, he's going to be defeated whatever he's trying to do which tells me that it's nothing on the positive side it's nothing that needs to be manifested uh knight of swords here so i'm sorry the king of swords so um someone is coming to speak some truth it could be little kev arguments here we've got the five of wands at the bottom of the deck so there's a lot of infight amongst them in, in the family okay there's something that's happening where they cannot get along and i do think this is kelvin wendy and big kelvin big kevin and so whatever he wants to be called but someone is coming forward to speak some truth about this situation um it could be a brother it could be um the son someone is going to speak some very what I'm feeling is painful and passionate truth about her situation and, and some things that are going to come to light. Give me more on Wendy, though, Spirit. Let me let, let me get more on Wendy, please. How is she doing? Okay, she's very apathetic. Um, here, she's she's got some cups filled in front of her, and she's you know very secluded and demotivated. I think Kelvin was everything for her, really was everything for her um, emotionally. And then what he, his betrayal, had yeah, the sun in the reverse at the bottom of the deck, his betrayal brought her so much unhappiness and depression and loneliness. How is she going to get over this? Is Wendy going to recover and come back? Okay. 
we've got this the seven of swords here in reverse so she's seeking some type of counsel she's she's actually working with someone that can halfway be trusted in her camp and they're going to provide some guidance to her you know, regarding regarding the situation so she, there's somebody in her camp that she's found to be a bit trustworthy we've got the five of cups at the bottom of the deck here so she's still in a lot of despair. There's a lot of cups here. There's a lot of emotion here from Wendy. A lot of emotion. So she's got someone in her camp that's going to be, you know, a wise counsel for her. It could be someone um, with a legal status, an attorney, or ace of cups here. Yeah. She's, she has a friendship, okay? Or someone loves her unconditionally, it is a friend. I don't, I'm not getting any um, sexual tension, you know, or attraction. It's it's an emotional love. Someone, a friend, it could be a family member, um, sister, or someone in her, in her immediate family that she's very close to that's trying to protect her and love her through her pain. Okay, and then, of course, this card keeps coming out, this five of cups, it keeps coming out. She is in a lot of grief, um, but we see this Five of Pentacles in reverse here where she's going to regain and recover her finances when this is all done. And this actually came out in the first reading that I did, um, record, but without audio. So she's going to regain her financial strength and recover everything financially will she come back to talk tv and daytime television or some form or platform where she's speaking will she recover emotionally mentally psychologically physically okay we got too many cards here thank you spirit And we've got the Ace of Wands, and it showed up in reverse here, and it says, basically, there's some cancellation, this false start. So she she may, and she did attempt to try to do something with a podcast, and it was just not right for her. So will she eventually move forward with a successful business enterprise similar or better than what she had before? That's what we want to know. Is she going to come back stronger and better than it was before what do we see here spirit what what is in her energy mm. that the ten of pentacles that came out so this talks about financial wealth family prosperity um legacy so yeah i think she her legacy lives on um and will pre precede her um, long after she's gone, what she's been able to do. So will she have another talk show? What what happens with her in love and health and all of those things? Ah, too many cards. What's going to happen with Miss Wendy? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Um, she's got somebody in her energy, and this came up in the last reading, that was, that's very deceitful, unorganized. It could be someone uh, that's doing, taking care of her business affairs or financial affairs. That's what I'm getting. Not someone in her personal relationship wise, not in her life like that, but a business deal, something's deceitful going on. Will she recover from the spirit? Will she recover? Okay. We've got the moon card here, which indicates something hidden will be revealed, um, some type of deception. And she's going to be the wounded warrior. She's still going to be standing strong in this. So she is definitely going to um, recover somewhat in this situation. She's an unbreakable force. So she's got the resilience and the desire to continue to do what she's been doing because she loves it. Okay, uh, and we've got this Six of Pentacles here. So financially, she she is definitely um, focusing on justice, getting back her her wealth, 
the ability to be an overseer or to be over her own finances. She's trying to quit, create or show some balance and equilibrium here so that she can be back in control of her finances. There's going to be some movement in that direction, some swift move it, movement coming soon in that direction where she um, can have uh, rights to and access to her money. And we've got the hangman that came out in the reverse. So, yeah, she's um, failing to go within, really, you know, and reflect on this. I think she's more frustrated than anything. So when she speaks out, she, you hear that a lot, you know, how frustrated she is with the situation. So we've got the eight of pentacles here. So she's working very hard um to to get back into a new arena she's working on something educating herself maybe she's relearning some things with mobility and depending on um how ill she's been but she's working on something she's working on educating herself on something she's trying to learn something And so we do have this Nine of Swords energy. So she's had a lot of sleepless nights over the situation. I think Kelvin is causing her a lot of stress. Money regained after toil. This keeps popping up. This Five of Pentacles in reverse. She's going to get her money back. She's going to be in control of her finances again. And then we've got a Queen of Cups. So you can, I can gather that, you know, with the lack of sleep and what she's going through emotionally and financially, she's been very moody. It's very moody, very isolated, and, and probably kind of cold with her words from time to time. But at some point, we've got the Six of Wands, some public recognition. She's going to come back out, but not as big as she was. She's going to come back out in some way, shape, form, or fashion, but not as big of a platform as she's had previously. But she's definitely coming back. All right, we've got the Four of Wands here. So there's going to be some celebration. She's going to have some... Um, success in the home and, and work and some milestones with the community. She's going to be given her flowers. She's going to come back and if she only comes back to receive her flowers and go into some type of retirement or whatever, she's going to do that. King of Pentacles, she's going to be back on top. She's definitely going to be back on top. Whatever her role is that she takes, it's going to be a leadership role. It's going to be a role that um, ensures that she continues to draw an income, maybe residual income. Maybe she will do some mentoring. I don't know what it is, but she is going to find her niche and or create a new niche because that's what Wendy does. She's very innovative. So she's going to be back on top financially, going to have everything restored with her and her son because I am getting, yeah, this two of cups. She's got unconditional love for her son. Um, that is, that is, uh, that partnership is going to be reconnected. This card came out um, as well in the first reading, and but it was in a different aspect. I do believe that her and her son are a little bit estranged for whatever reason. I don't understand why. I'm not able to pick up on why, but they're a little bit off. The relationship is off, and it's going to be rekindled in a very marvelous way. And this Queen of Wands here. Um, so I, I do believe that she's going to be able to ascend her emotions and her spirit um, a, a bit better here in the future um, because without being connected to her to her son, she she succumbs easily to depression. She needs some light in her life, and at some point, she's going to get everything back together. She's going to get her health together, start looking a whole lot better. And uh, King of Cups, I, I do see that being um, <laughs> Kelvin's energy where he's going to be very bitter and cold because his karma is going to play out for years to come. It's going to play out in his health, his wealth, his spirit, all that stuff that he claims that he is. It's going to be flipped, and his karma is coming very quickly, and it's going to play out, and it's going to deplete him emotionally, financially. Um, 
And so he's going to be very bitter and cold. But Wendy's going to be right here in this Nine of Pentacles energy, single, sexy, um, available, living a very lux luxurious lifestyle. She's going to reap the rewards. Yeah. Okay. And she's going to get over this. This lover's card in reverse. I do believe that Shireen is probably out the door too, but she will get over this uh, strong sense of union with Kelvin that, that keeps a, her uh, tied down emotionally. Yeah. Okay, anything else on Miss Wendy? Anything else we need to know about Wendy? Spirit guides. Is there anything else we need to know about Wendy? Yeah, she's going to take a leap of faith on a new opportunity or perhaps even a new love. If this is a new love, Spirit, give us more on that. Is she going to take a leap of faith towards a new love or a new business opportunity? What's in store for Wendy? Okay, we got the Ten of Cups here, so we know that... Um, Yeah, there's, we know that her, her family situation is going to end, but her career, she may come back for a little bit. Give me more on this Ten of Cups in reverse. More the Ten of Cups in reverse. I'm picking up on something. Um, this card came, these cards came out too. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's going to be an ending to someone. Um, justice is being called in the 5D. Okay. So it's going to be an ending to Sharina's success uh, without work. Um, and then we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Um, <sighs> I'm feeling a real heavy energy regarding the future for Wendy, and I'm not really going to speak on it, but she's really got to focus on her health. She's gonna, she's gonna come back into the world of talk show hosting momentarily. Um, to be rec to receive her accolade and her true flowers for all that she has contributed to the industry. She's going to reconnect with her son, um, and she's going to um, have a renewed strength and, and focus on a journey. You know, she's going to come back stronger mentally and spiritually, um, free from some addictions and and pain and trauma of the loss, you know, of her marriage and relationship with Kelvin, the ultimate betrayal, really. And, um, yeah. And so I am seeing something that, that could be potentially painful. Um, I'm hoping that she'll get her health sorted, her health situation. Um, but she is definitely going to be making some amends and repairing some broken relationships in the very near future. So she's working on that. Okay. Well, this has been a quick um, tarot reading on Miss Wendy Williams. We'll do one on Nene Leakes if time permits. If not, I will upload that one uh, for you guys tomorrow. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like the vibe, or at least give me a likey like so that I can hit that algorithm in YouTube land. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye.